Remember Benjamin Franklin or John Prine, Abraham Lincoln or this cousin of mine? They all made an honest living working for the U.S. mail. For Pony Express, preschool me, my first recollection of the post office be the mailman bringing them Christmas catalogs. And up through the years, they were always on time, a model of consistency and national pride authorized by the U.S. Constitution, might I add. Columbia House meant endless CDs, publishers clearing lottery dreams, and what's that magazine for dad wrapped up in plastic? Postcards, report cards, birthday cards from grandma. Oh yeah, get it done if you want to send something to someone you love. Way over yonder just to stay in touch, you can do it through the U.S. mail. Then you graduate to professional stress and get your very own address. Mailbox, envelopes, packing tape and stamps. And it starts to feel a little more like home when you see that familiar uniform walking up the drive with all your stuff. Through rain, snow, cold and heat, the gloom of night and tired feet, and always with a smile, they deliver. But more than sentimental, it's a functional necessity, bedrock for a country that's claiming such legitimacy, messenger of sympathy, promoter of peace and goodwill among men and nations. Talk to you now, wee wee, if you want to send something overseas, a pen pal letter or a wheel of cheese, you can do it through the U.S. mail. Then in 2006, what the president did is sign into law an act that exists solely for the deliberate sabotage of a perfectly good public institution. It's called the Post Office Accountability Act, an arbitrary mandate revenue tax that says they got a payback well in advance, 50 years worth of health and benefit plans. Now their P&L's red and they can't invest and they're way in debt and to the untrained eye it seems a pretty big mess right for the picking of the private sector scavengers. And 2020 came and tried to break its back but the postal worker said you can forget all that we got a job to do so get out of the way we'll show you how to make America great. Good try, don't know when you gotta stay home but you still wanna vote. Maybe even say 